It's the Blues Heart Biker here, and I want to give a big thanks and a big shout out to all my subscribers. I just hit my first 100 subscribers. Yeah, thank you very much for doing that. Uh, keep on watching. I got plenty of cool stuff coming up. Stay tuned for the Blues Heart Biker. Today I'm going to go over to Roding Park in Fresno, California, where I believe some filming was done for the movie The Wild One. So they made this movie in 1953 about you know, a motorcycle club going in and taking over a, a city and another club come in was kind of their rival club and they all raised a bunch of ruckus and and then of course you know there was a sappy love story with and I do believe that some of this movie was filmed in Fresno uh, and, and, and Roding Park and I remember as a kid seeing a little sign when they were riding into that little park area entering Roding Park but for the life of me I can't find that now but there's a scene in the movie where he takes her to this park and they go through this set of pillars and uh, I believe that those pillars are in Fresno's Roding Park. And there are some other uh, references to Fresno in the movie. Hiya, sweetheart. Hey, what are you doing in this miserable gully, Johnny Malo? I love you, Johnny. I've been looking for you in every ditch from Fresno to here, hoping you was dead. And one thing about that movie that a lot of people don't know is, besides the obvious Lee Marvin and Marlon Brando, um, Alvy Moore was in the movie and if you guys don't know who Alvy Moore is he was Mr. Kimball on the Green Acres television series back in the 60s so if any of you remember that show or have seen it on reruns because it's always on syndication Mr. Kimball was in The Wild One and played a rogue ruffian biker. And also, character in the movie whose name was Bebop. And he was at the bar playing his harmonica and uh, talking, hey dad, get the Bebop. You know, he was, you know, don't be, you digging the jive? He was talking, you know, like that. Um, his name was Danny Welton, and uh, he was a, a harmonica player. He was a real harmonica player, and, and made records. And another cool thing about the wild one is, it's just the fantastic motorcycles that are in it you know at the time I guess they weren't so fantastic they were just motorcycles but uh, nowadays when you look and you see all those knuckleheads and Marlon Brando's riding a Triumph and there's you know I saw matchlesses in there and AJS and a lot of British bikes you know but um, They're all just really cool, you know? It's really cool to see those. And there it is. All right.
And there it is. There it is. I tell you what I think. I think this is it. Um, like I said, if you look in the movie, it sure looks a lot like this. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot more trees. And they've taken a lot of the trees out here in this park. But, um, but that's the trestle. I think this is the, the pillars where the Johnny character took the Kathy character. And uh, they've done some work to it. I believe they've... done a few things to it, but... But there it is. This is, this is what I believe that the wild one was filmed, part of the wild one was filmed here. And I know that the main scenes were filmed on a back lot, Southern California, you know, the, the little town and stuff. But let's stand where Marlon Brando rode his triumph. Probably was a stunt man, but anyways. A bit of Fresno history, motorcycle history, Hollywood history, and uh, and with Danny Welton in the cast, a little bit of music history. I'm not a thousand percent sure that this is the the exact spot um, where it happened, but it sure looks like it. And with the references made to Fresno in the movie, um, and just the way everything looks, I do believe that it was either p patterned after this or this was it. And um, I'm saying that this was it. Um, so there you have it. This looks way more like it. Because there was a driveway that went up. There was a driveway that went up in the movie. And you can see where they've paved into the driveway there. Amazing. It's an interesting look from the other side. This looks like it to me. I mean, it does. I mean, it looks like, you know, 68 years later, you know, very well could be it. And there we have it. The wild one. Hey, that's it for today. That was fun. I think I might have done some myth busting today. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. Uh, but like I said earlier, I just hit my first 100 subscribers. I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing and I'm getting a lot of comments and I'm getting a lot of likes on the videos, so keep watching. I got a lot of cool things coming up for the channel. I'm gonna do a series about some of my musician friends who ride motorcycles and uh, I'm still going to do that whole uh, uh, episode about the Sportster and my friends that have Sportsters. I got to put a new choke cable on my Sportster here. I don't know whether I can make an episode about that or not, but who knows. If you've got any ideas, drop them in the comments and don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, get notified, comment often. Let's keep this channel moving. Uh, thanks a lot again for watching and Check out The Wild One. You'll enjoy that movie a lot. Uh, it's really, it's the original biker movie. That's it for today. Thanks a lot. And...
Don't forget to be good to each other now, all right? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Thank you.